prepping a few backup units. Don't let them launch, Snake. We're counting on you. See the communications tower to the west? Head for that, Snake! The false data's already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, We'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. All that is left is to enter the code. Go! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. But 
I brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a... Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ah! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Shoot him. Professor Galvez. Hmm. I am Vladimir Sadornov. And Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now. Do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Pause! I I'm sorry! Retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... you missed on purpose. Your part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No. Not that! Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you made contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> a true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of guerrillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Che Guevara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammal port data entry is complete. Dead at age 39, just like El Che. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did and become, as did she, an eternal fraud. Go! 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 Freeze! You dare point your gun at a comrade? We will not be pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! 
¡Hasta la victoria siempre! ¡Amanda! Uh. ¡We're home! ¡Look! ¡We're back in Nika! ¡We did it, Amanda! I mean... ¡Comandante! Boss, you hurt. I'm fine. Big boss. 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. <laughs> I never figured you for a softy snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Boss can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Hmm. Where's Amanda? Back with her comb boss. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well... It's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Defcon 3, get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at Defcon 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. You have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke. Online. 